Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.bashtechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. You have a website. A lot of people have websites. Maybe not you. Maybe not you specifically, or maybe you. Uh, maybe you're a server administrator for a website. Maybe it's not your website, but you serve. You you're the server administrator, so you provide the server which you monitor to make sure the website's up and running, right? Or maybe you have a dedicated server, or maybe you host somewhere else, like uh, you know Liquid Web or DreamHost or HostGator or GoDaddy. It doesn't matter. What's important to your site is that your site remains up. It has the uptime that's respectable, unlike Twitter's uptime, which is something else, as I did the song the other day. But anyway, so you, so you have a website. You want to make sure it's up, right? Ha, ha, there's a, how do you make sure it's up, so, right? So there's a service out there called Pingdom. It's a really cool service. I'm going to show it off today. And basically what it does is it just monitors your website to make sure it's up all the time. Now, if it goes down, what you can do is that you can have it send you an SMS, a text message, or an email, um, letting you know that the site's down, and that, that way you can quickly get on, get someone to fix it, or you, get, or you can get yourself to go fix it if you're motivated. I, I would be motivated if my site was down. Um, so basically what the site does is it monitors your website, and you can have it set up to check your website up to one every minute if you want so you can you can have like five minute intervals ten and so on but the the fastest you can have a check is one minute every one minute which is what I have mine check because I'm fanatic like that um, anyway so I'm gonna show off this service basically they have a paid account and a free account the free account lets you check one website and it'll send up to 20 SMS messages um, in a month I, I believe that's if I write it correctly and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So you can have one check, meaning one website, or an IP address. It doesn't have to be a specific domain. You can have a check and IP um, if, if you want. Uh, so you can check one website on the free, you get 20 SMS, and uh, it's free. On the paid subscriptions, they have a basic and a business account. The basic, I think they're doing a, a, a special right now for the summer, 50% off, so it's if you pay for a full year. But basically, it's it's ten dollars a month for the basic and like forty dollars for the business. I believe the business account. Let me just double check this really quick. Has up to you can get up to uh, one second. I, I just saw it. I'm blanking right now. Um, but you basically get. I think it's like uh, twenty checks. So up to twenty websites if you want to check. Let me just double check this. Oh, thirty checks. You get thirty checks. The basic is five checks. And with the with the business, you get twenty, uh, you get two hundred SMSs, and uh, you get a discount if you don't have that SMS for free. If you don't have unlimited SMS, you get a discount. Uh, and you get twenty SMS for the basic. As I said, basics ten dollars, five checks, ten dollars a month for five checks, twenty SMS, and the free is one check. Um, so you can only check, as I said, one website, and twenty SMS. So basically, let me show you this off. I'm going to switch over to my desktop really quick, and now you guys can see what this thing looks like. Uh, you should be able to see my desktop now. Um, let me minimize this and here we go. So I'm going to scroll in just so you guys can see this. Here, here as I said, business, uh, $40, $40 a month, 30 checks, 200 SMS. Basic, um, 5 checks, $10 a month, 20 SMS. Free, 1 check, which is what I'm using currently. And let me just show you what this thing looks like. So basically, you have your uptime report once it loads. And you can see right I'm checking besttechie.net. I'm checking it every 1 minute and it's doing an HTTP uh, check. So basically what it's doing is it's downloading just the, uh, downloading the page just to make sure it loads every 1 minute. And as you can see my uptime is 100%. It would if if it's not it will go down, it will dip, you'll see. Basically here you can see I started using this a couple days ago two days ago, almost three days ago to be exact, and you can see the uptime, it'll, if you go down a little bit, um, it'll say 100% uptime, how many time, how long it was down, the number of downtimes, if you have any. Uh, and additionally, what you can do is, you can check out the detailed log, which if you go to detailed log over here, you can see every time it ping the server, how, how where, where, where they ping, they have different locations where they ping from to help uh, you know, keep spread out, spread it out. That way you have 
um, see all around the world if people can actually share a site, basically. As you can see, all the times it was up, up, and you can go to all the different pages and so on and so forth. Um, and they have all these different locations where they ping from. Now, what I thought was cool is that is if your site goes down, I'm going to go over to this page over here, uh, if I can find it. If your site goes down, one of the features is that, let me scroll out so I can see what I'm doing. One of the features is that it will ch help troubleshoot the, uh, the page. So, for example, your site goes down and it says, when it, when it was testing it in uh, Reading, England. So, it says it timed out, right? Well, what does it exactly mean? How did, it's, it timed out after 31 seconds and uh, it, it tried it for 77 seconds total, but it couldn't access the site. So what it does is it tries to resolve the IP using the, uh, which is using the DNS to make sure the DNS is actually working. If the if that fails, then it will, it would say so. But if it, let's say let's say it resolves, right? Then you can go to your trace route, and you can see where perhaps it went down um, on in, somewhere on the network. So let's say you're from wherever their server is to where your server is. Maybe there's a, a, a network routing issue, perhaps. And that's why they can't access it. So it'll it'll let you know about that, and it will also download. It will uh, go for an HTTP request and try and download the page, and if it can, then it, then that's fine. But obviously, this is an okay thing. But um, over here, it's showing this. Perhaps just the server rebooted for something, and that's why I wasn't able to access it. But everything else seems to be okay now. Um, that was not mine, by the way. And as I said, you can have notification history, SMS or email. It'll notify you, um, and you can even and you can, and you can even make your reports public. So, like, if you have a very very big website and you want to show people uh, your your uptime status, you can make your reports public and people can check it out. Mine are currently not public, but I'm thinking about making them public for anyone who wants to check them out. Um, so let me scroll back out and show you one more thing that they have here, and uh, they have a free yes free iPhone application called Pingdom you can find it on the on the iTunes App Store and basically it's a very simple very simple app and it just basically it allows you to log into the website essentially and you have the same functionality as you do on the website just on your iPhone so if you wanted to use your um, you can have this obviously they have multiple checks here so if you wanted to you can sign in and uh, use your iPhone to monitor to email, password, so on and so forth. Very basic, but it works. It gets the job done for anyone who's looking to have an iPhone app that will allow them to monitor their website as well. But as I said, it, it will send the the SMS to you, so you don't have to worry about that. Pingdom.com, check it out. It's completely free to try. As I said, you get one check. You can check one website. Free. It's no reason not to try, especially if you have a website and you're you're just like you're like me basically you're worried about your uptime I am so 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 I'm so I'm so I'm so crazy when it comes to that if my website goes down I freak because I just I just can't I just can't can't deal with it I don't know what about you <laughs> so check out pingdom.com leave a comment it's really cool I recommend it anyway thanks for watching this has been live.best take it on it until next time we'll see you and remember remember take care of your computers